Hey everybody, Hank here, and I wanted to do a quick video showing how I'm bringing together two of my favorite tools for Net DevOps even closer together. Those being PyETS for network testing and validation, and then NetBox as our source of truth. The key part of this video is how do we get a testbed file for our PyETS tests generated from the source of truth data and we don't end up with duplicated information. And that's what we're going to take a look at. So here I've got opened up into my NetBox environment looking at my devices. And we have hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of devices inside of NetBox. And I certainly don't want to create a single testbed file for all of them. So what I need to do is start out by just filtering down to the devices that I'm interested in. So here in my devices view, I just use the NetBox's kind of search capabilities to drill down and show all of the devices that I'm actually interested in for my testbed file. And now the key part we're going to come back to in just a second is up here in the URL, we can see what's called the kind of the URL filter, which instructs the NetBox uh, APIs or the GUI in this case to, to the specific devices we're after. Now that we know the filter that we're after, we can just go right into PyATS to generate those. So here I'm on the PyATS CLI, and so I'll do PyATS create testbed netbox. And then we need to provide some, uh, some information about the testbed file to create. First, what do we want to call it? So we'll say output netbox testbed.yaml. And then we need to tell uh, PyATS what our NetBox uh, server is. So we'll do NetBox URL equals, and I've got these set as environment variables. So NetBox URL. We also need to provide it the user token so that NetBox know, or uh, the PyATS scripts know how to authenticate to NetBox. So NetBox token. We need to provide it the username and password to put into the testbed for these devices. And so I, um, like a lot of folks, don't want to put a clear text password in there. So we take advantage of the ability for PyATS to look those up from environment variables. Username. And then similar with the password equals percent env. Oops, device, password. And then we need to provide that URL filter so that we specifically just grab the ones we're after. So we'll do URL filters equals, and then we go back into our netbox to grab that information. So I just put my cursor here at the start of the URL filter, go ahead and copy that over. We paste that in here, end it with a double quote, and, or end it with our quotes, and then hit enter. We can see it's connected off to NetBox and retrieved the data for all of the devices that I had filtered down to and generated me a testbed file. We look at that. We can see indeed it has my devices. We've got the connection information, so the IP address. We can see that those passwords are put in using that environment variable syntax. We've got the OS, the platform. It even fills in the type information as recorded in NetBox for all of my devices as they go through, and we could, we could filter down. Now, if we look at the bottom of the testbed file, we can see here the topology, which would indicate the interfaces and how the interfaces are connected in the testbed is currently empty. Well, I have that documented inside of NetBox as well. If we come over and we look at one of our devices, for example, this router, we can see that NetBox knows how the devices are actually connected, knows what the interfaces are. So let's use that in our testbed as well. And we do that by adding in the topology, topology flag to the command line here. Now the testbed generation will take a little bit longer because it's going to, for each one of these devices, retrieve all of the interface information to construct the topology details. And it's completed again. If we take a look at the testbed. Now as we scroll down to the bottom past the devices list, and there it is. We can see that we now have our topology articulated. Each one of the devices, we can see the interfaces that are there. And for the interfaces that are connected, for example, this Ethernet 113, the link information links those back to the other devices in the testbed. 
And then finally, with our testbed created, we can use the PyATS tools. PyATS, for example, let's say we wanted to parse the simple just show version. We give it our testbed file that we just created. And we can see the data coming back. All right, that's it. Just a quick sh look at how we're connecting together NetBox and PyATS even stronger. Talk to you all next time.